Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. This video is going to be about Golden Cross stocks. I'm going to explain to you what the Golden Cross is, and then I'll show you how to set up a scanner within Thinkorswim. Uh, and, you know, you can just take the settings that I show you within Thinkorswim and put it to another scanner if you use a different scanner. So the Golden Cross is a combination of moving average crossovers. It's the 50 simple moving average crossing above the 200 simple moving average. So you'll see here, I'll show you my Thinkorswim platform. If I go up to my studies and click edit studies, you'll see I have some of the most popular uh, simple moving average lines as well as exponential moving average lines. So uh, exponential or EMAs are more of the quicker moving average lines. And then simple moving average lines are a little bit more of the slower ones, right? So the 9 and the 20 are very popular EMAs. If you use the 13 EMA, that's also very popular. So the 13 is kind of the equilibrium or the in-between between the 9 and the 20. And uh, so if you use the 13 EMA, you don't really need to use the 9 and the 20. And then I have the other popular ones, the 50, the 100, and the 200 simple moving average lines. So again, simple moving average lines or EMAs, uh, moving average lines in general, so they are uh, you know, delayed indicators, so they're not foolproof, uh, but they show very important support and resistance levels. So again, these are some of the most popular. Uh, so what you want to look for with the uh, Golden Cross is a combination of the 50 crossing above the 200, right? So that's the Golden Cross. That's a bullish pattern. So that's showing, you know, possible bullish, re bullish reversal. Just because you see a crossover doesn't mean it's going to go bullish. It's something to be aware of because uh, usually it's a pretty good signal that when you see the Golden Cross, price is going to go up. The Death Cross is the opposite of that. It's when the, cr the 200 simple moving average crosses over the 50 simple. So now I'm going to show you some examples of what this looks like and what to look for when you're uh, finding these golden crosses. So you'll see right here on my stock chart, uh, this nine, the blue line right there is the nine EMA. The red is the 20 EMA. The turquoise is the 100, but pay attention to this pink line and the black line. The pink is the 50 SMA and the black line is the 200 SMA. So pay close attention to you see that crossing over, that pink is crossing over the 200. Well, you can see this is showing a possible reversal to the upside. So a lot of times, just because you see the crossover doesn't mean you buy it. You want to see confirmation hold of those support levels. So you can see it's crossing over here. Price was kind of overextended. It pulled back to this moving average lines, the 9, and basically you could see probably the 13 right there. So now when you kind of just draw your trend line right here, you can see it's kind of holding these uh, support levels, right? So this is good confirmation because you want to see price hold support. So if it can hold above on the support levels or right in here from this lower trend line, if it holds, it may continue up. So you might see, again, a reversal to continue up. So you look at these support levels and these trend lines, uh, again, you can almost use that 9 EMA or the 13 EMA as a guide that kind of acts as a guide as this trend line right here. Uh, so when you see that, you want to see that support level hold, and these are the areas where you would potentially look to buy if you see confirmation of a hold off these moving average lines. So again, it's all about buying low, selling high uh, when you're going long with trading. So that's what, again, the golden cross strategy is a bullish strategy. So just because you see it cross, you want to see confirmation of support hold. So let me show you how I kind of got this scan to form right here. And we'll look at a few other examples. Uh, you'll see right up over in here, when I look over to the study right here, when I just go and I edit it, you'll see right here, I have the 50 simple moving average line crossing above, right? So the 50 simple moving average line crosses above the 200 simple moving average. So that's on a daily chart. So you'll see I have that right over here on the daily. So that's how you find the golden cross 
Uh, you know, you find the six, the 50 simple moving average line crossing above the 200 on the daily. I'll add this uh, thinkorswim study on the bottom of this video, so you can just copy this link and import it if you'd like. But you'll see right here when I scan, you can see a bunch of them popping up on the scanner today. Uh, so let's just do a rescan and just take a look at a few more that might be popping up. Again, you can it, you can change you know the price level up here if you want to filter by prices that are lower than ten dollars or above. But let's just look at a few other examples of what's happening. You know, let's take a look at Boeing. So if we take a look at the symbol BA for Boeing, we will see right over in here, if I just clear these drawings, you'll see that pink line is pinching and looking to potentially cross over. It's crossing over that 200 right now. And you can see it's nearer to those support levels. It might be forming a flag or kind of a pennant pattern. Again, if I just draw my trend lines here, you can kind of see right here, some support right here. If it can hold the support level, this might be holding, you know, for, a con you know, if it continues up, it might continue and break above. And you can see some resistance above that 223, again, nearer to those support levels. So when that golden cross happens down here, you want to make sure you're buying near support. You can see a cross like this, and then it might, you might think, oh, I'll buy it right now, but then it could end up falling down a little bit further down here. And then it's kind of, you're dealing with the pain of, uh, you know, buying higher and then waiting for that, you know, being stuck as it's falling down. That's why you got to learn candlesticks and know and watch for support levels to hold. Again, we teach you this stuff in our courses. We teach you support resistance patterns. We teach that in our courses, again, as well as our trade rooms each day. So let's take a look at a couple more examples here. Let's go over to the scanner. I'll rescan. Uh, let's take a look at CPZ. Let's see what's popping up over there. CPZ. As you can see right down here, crossover of the 200, the 50 over the 200 right down here. Uh, and you'll see, again, it's right near that 9 EMA. It doesn't always happen this way, but pay attention right here. Kind of draw my trend line right here. Support. It's right near to support, so you kind of watch and see. You know, kind of build a flat top right here. Might be forming kind of an ascending triangle right here. So we watch if, see if support will hold right in this area. If so, you know, you might look to get an entry in anticipation of a break of the ascending triangle using a close below here as your stop. So that's an example. I'm not a huge fan of like these candlestick wicks like this. Just showing the example of this might be doing an ascending triangle. You're looking right here at the crossover and again, kind of using those moving average lines as support. So let's take a look at one more example over here. We'll look at uh, ESQ. Let's see here, ESQ right here. And as you can see, kind of a crossover happening right, right there. Again, kind of a flat top forming possible ascending triangle. Again, if I do my trend lines and kind of connect them out right over here, you know, kind of an ascending triangle forming, right? So again, doesn't mean it's always gonna break out or continue up bullish, but as you can see, I just pulled up a few random stocks and it's showing possible bullish continuation up. Uh, and so this, you know, the Golden Cross, again, while not foolproof, it is a pretty solid uh, scanner and uh, it's pretty reliable. But again, you got to make sure you're buying at those support levels and when you see pullbacks. So again, I will attach this scanner below for Thinkorswim. But if you use another scanner, just input the settings of 50 a simple moving average line crossing above the 200 simple moving average line. So hopefully this video on Golden Cross stocks helps you and we'll see you in our community. Enjoy.